My name is Jeff White, and I'm the research entomologist for Bedbug Central and the host of Bedbug TV, bedbugcentral.com. I have no idea how I got into bugs and bedbugs. And here I am six years later and having a lot of fun working with bedbugs. And I'll be talking to you about pest control. The big push in the pest control industry today are green products. What are green products and do they work? What people typically refer to when they say green products are products that are made from all natural ingredients. I Meaning that you can go out and find pepper extract and cinnamon oils and lavender oils and all kinds of different oils and, and dust that are made from crushed fossils and, and all these different all natural ingredients. And why people focus on these is that they're concerned about the impact that a more traditional pesticide may have on the environment. And so they want to spray these pesticides because they come from the earth and they say, okay, well, it may have less impact. And that's fine. The thing you want to be concerned about with all natural or green products is, are they killing the bugs that we're spraying them for? A lot of these pesticides can and will work on contact, but may have little to no effect once they dry because they are all natural products and they don't have much of a residual effect. And so you want to read the labels on these products very carefully, make sure that how you're applying them is on the label and the bugs that you're applying them for are on the label as well. Remember that even though these are considered all natural products and they're green and they're made from all natural you know, ingredients, it does not mean they aren't toxic. They are still pesticides and they're still killing bugs on contact. And so you want to make sure you read the labels very carefully and apply them in a manner that's consistent with those label directions. We would never want to see anybody hurt themselves. Even though the pesticide is green, it still could have a toxic effect if applied inconsistently. And again, you want to take whatever pest you're applying it for. So say you see crickets in your house and you want to apply it for those crickets. Find a cricket and spray it directly with this pesticide. See if the cricket dies. If it does, then you know that pesticide is killing that bug on contact. And that's one quick way to test the product. Find what you're looking to spray for and spray it and see what happens. Some insects may not die to certain exposures. And so you want to do a quick field check. And just remember that, yes, these can work and they will tend to kill bugs on contact but have little residual effect and you want to make sure you follow those label directions very carefully and good luck with your green pesticides.